<laughs> I can see what he's trying to do. He's trying to beat me there, bro. He's trying to beat me. No, I think we're in and around the same area. I'm coming for pure love. I'm not, com I'm not racing to the line. You feel like you're racing to the line. You're still in competitive mode. We're in the same spot. It's true, bro, but you know what I mean? This is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Dude, this is, this is, this is a special day. It is indeed. So I'm pleased to be here with you, bro. I'm happy you're here, this man. Look at you. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm really good. Nice. So, Bakayo, man, congratulations, it's done. Um, you obviously knew it was, it was going to be done, but we didn't know. But how do you feel now it's done? You know what, I'm just really happy. Mm. Um, obviously, it's been a lot of talking and, yeah, it's been a while. But yeah, I'm here now and I think this is the right club, the right place to, to make the next step. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's, it's a beautiful club, man. Look where we are. Know, I'm just bro. happy, I'm happy. I know. I was just looking over there and Rocky's looking straight over us. I can't tell you how happy I am. Mm. That someone like yourself, coming through Ireland, always been that player that's had to play above his level being young there. How does it feel for the family? Because I know the family and the support system you've got behind you. Mm is so important. How does it feel for them? No, it's amazing for them. Obviously, they made the sacrifices for me to be here. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm sure they're really happy that it, it paid off. And, yeah. Mumsy? Yeah, she's, she's going to be here soon. She, she might be somewhere around, but she's definitely smiling. I've seen her this morning. So, yeah, it's a really nice moment for, you know, for all of us. You know, when you was younger and in the airlines and that, dreaming of this, this kind of stuff, when was the time when you, you feel like, you know something? I'm, I'm going to make it. Was it the first time you signed a contract or did you know leading into it that I'm going to make it to where we are now? Do you know what? When we was in Hayland, like, I was just a kid who wanted to play and mm -hmm. play and just enjoy. And then obviously as you get older, it gets more and more serious. But mm -hmm. when, I, when I made my first, my first team debut yeah. under Una, I think that's when I really realised that, like, oh my gosh. I've actually done mm. it, um, I've achieved that dream. Now it's about staying here, maintaining that, because obviously we've seen a lot of players come and go um, at Arsenal. And yes. I, I didn't want to come and go, I wanted to So that's here. what I was going to say. So when you see, you see a lot of players come and go, and that's what happens in the football club, especially one of this size. Can you remember when he told you that you're going to make your debut? I don't know can how you, to first, can you remember the feeling you had when you knew you was playing? Yeah, I think, especially my first start yes. um, here in the stadium, he told me a day before, like, Did you tell your family, obviously? Oh, straight away, of course. Like, straight away. What was it like? Did you all sleep well that night? Or was everybody... <laughs> <laughs> My dad, there was no lingering around. He said, hey, go to bed. <laughs> Get a good sleep. <laughs> he said, go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I was just in my bed thinking mm. about how it's going to go. Um, mm. And yeah, it went well. You, you've seen a lot of change, bro. What's it like? You're right, I have seen a lot of change. Um, Obviously, speaking about this season, it hurts a lot. Like, it really hurts so much to even think mm -hmm. about, you know, how we've ended the season um, and what could have been. Yep. But one thing I can say is, like you said, um, since the last two, three years that I've been playing, um, I've seen this team and the club grow. You know, we're going in, a, in the right direction yes. like this. And yep. It's I about think, the future. This yeah. is about the future, bro. Yeah, one thing um, that the club, the fans, everyone around us can be excited about is that obviously we, we are going in the right direction yes. if you look at the past two three years so i think you know when the dust settles and all the negative emotions are out you know mm. i think everyone can look at us and, and be excited for for the future can you see is, is it because our team's so young we've got we've kind of got we've got time bro yeah time's on our side you can look at our, our team like a lot of the players are young yes we're hungry a lot of us haven't won at Arsenal. Yeah. So yeah, we, we want to achieve big things. You know, a lot of players, if you watch like the way we all speak, you know, we want to win and we want to win here. Mm. You know what I'm quite pleased about? Because you know, we've done a little piece about what that number seven, that shirt, the number seven means Rocky in coming from the youth, you taking on the number and just like running with that number, mm. you know, just delivering consistently with that man at your age. It's amazing. Do you, do you understand? What's it like? I, I want to know what it's like being Bukayo Saka because obviously I wasn't playing football nowhere near the levels that you've played up to this point to your age now. So what's it like for you in respect of now we're sitting there, you're signing a new contract at the club we both love and you have up to this point, you, you, you're doing it, bro. It's happening. What is it now that's going to drive you 
to take us to the place where we want to go? I think for me, it's my personal ambitions. Um, that's probably the core, um, how much I push myself and demand for myself each game, um, week in, week out. And then, of course, I have all the right people around me in terms of family. And then when I come to the training ground, my teammates, the coaching staff, you know, I think I have everything I need to to become the best player I can be and that's why I'm happy to, to stay here and yeah, be here for the future because I really believe you know, that we can, we can achieve big things. Honestly, the supporters would love to hear that. You know, I've got to say about my own journey, this is kind of like a bit of a selfish thing, but my own journey supporting you and worrying about you, you know, worrying about you know, injuries, worrying about people kicking you. Because I never hear you <laughs> complain about that sort of stuff, but it's something from my point of view I don't want to put into you now. I'm going to stop worrying about you. I didn't know everyone was worried. God, because, you, no. because it's what you mean to us. And I think that what we do, coming from Ireland, we're, we're kind of, we're almost overprotective. Listen, I'm fine. I don't, I don't really think you need to worry about me. I have everything in place mm. to, to be healthy, be on the pitch week in, week out. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've, I've been able to play every game this season. See. So, you know, despite all the, the games and the tackles yes. and so on and so forth. So, yeah, I think... I'm fine. You it's don't true. Need to and like Mikel said, top players, that's, that's, what you have to, that's what you have to expect. And plus now, we're going up now, Champions League. You know, you've shown that on the world stage, you're more than ready for that level. We're going into another level of, of competition and that. So are you excited about that? Yeah, I think it's been, it's been too long since, obviously, this club has had Champions League football. And yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward yeah. to Tuesday, Wednesday nights yeah. in the stadium. You know, the atmosphere is going to be special. So. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's, it's great. Especially as well, you know, here under the lights at night time, especially we've seen how this place can kick off, especially the Bournemouth. But like you go to the England camp and the man them are, you know, man them are talking about Champions League and man has to sit over there, bro. Just got to keep silent, man. <laughs> but listen, our time's here now, so yes. I've been patient and yeah, the time is now. It's our moment mm. next year. Let's see. And the connection, you know what I mean? The connection with the with the supporters, it seems like it's getting better. You can feel, can you actually feel it now? No, I really can. The fans have been so crazy this year, you know, they've been so good. Mm -hmm. Like, even when I see fans out, like, we have so much in common in yes. terms of how passionate we are for this team. Yeah. Like, sometimes, you know, I feel like some of the fans can play the game. That's how passionate they are because, like, they would give everything. Mm -hmm. I can see it in their eyes, you know, when they're mm -hmm. speaking to me. So, it's really nice to see that and I feel like we're all really connecting with the fans more and see. you can feel it in the stadium as well. Okay. So I'm gonna just do it, just to finish, I'm gonna kind of do a little kind of quick, quick fire. You have to tell me exactly what you're thinking straight off the, off the bat, right? Because there's a lot of people that played an important role in helping you to get to this place, yeah? Mm -hmm. So first ones I'm gonna say is, Edu. Edu. Edu Gaspar. Edu Gaspar. <laughs> Edu Gaspar. He's actually the, the person who helped me um, when I was getting my number seven. Yeah? Because I had the conversation with him and yeah, I told him which numbers I like and I couldn't believe it. He just said, yeah, okay, like we can give it to you. I was like this. Is that? Like, you, you want to give me the number seven? Yeah. And then he was like, yeah, of course. Like, and those are one of the, the moments I realized, you know, how much, you know, the people at this club believe in me. Yes, so it was a nice moment. And fine, obviously, tell me, Mikel, the boss, bro. Mikel is the boss. He's the boss. Uh, he's so a much, serious yeah. man, isn't it? Listen, he's serious when he needs to be serious. And, He's also a really good person, you know. I think he really cares about the, the players personally as well. And as a player, you really like obviously connect with him. And personally, he's been so good for me. Obviously, since he's come in, I think I've improved so much. I could never have imagined, you know, the, the player I've become now from the player I was then. So, yeah, I'm, I'm so grateful to him. Listen, bro, I just want to say um, again, congratulations, bro everything what you've done up to this point you deserve it you don't get to this this don't happen if you don't deserve it you've worked hard you mentioned it with all those people that you've just said then all i can hope for is more blessings and Thank you know you. like you said the, the future the future man our time's coming it's exciting so congratulations bukayo i love you man we all love you bro Thank so you proud so of you Thank you, so proud of you let me hug you come come uh, oh, oh. nice one man appreciate it Look.